hi babes how are you doing hopefully you're good welcome back to my channel and in today's video i decided to show you how you can style or you can braid your havana curls and this is trending hairstyle right now a lot of people that have been requesting me to do this hair tutorial on my tiktok and i decide to make this video for you guys so if you are my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back but if you are new to this family you're welcome my name is Gloria Tui and if you find this video is useful kindly hit the subscribe button below give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to share this video with your loved one so I use this Havana curl and I used to pack to braid my entire head and I also used all sun gel so each piece i divide into two after i trim in the end to avoid tangling and then just like this way so each piece i got two pieces again i cut in the end first to avoid tangle and then after that i divided this curl into two and then here we go here is one pack only so let's start to part my hair and start to braid. So guys, before I go far, if you want to braid like more small section, like a lot of people that have been doing like a micro locks or more smaller than that, you may go ahead and divide one twist into four pieces depending on the size of the braids or curls you want to do. So for me, I will work with bigger sections, so that's why I divide each piece into two. So after I divide the hair, I go ahead and apply some gel on my hair. And then I take one piece to create the base. So two piece, uh, two strands will be these, these Havana curls, while the third one will be my natural hair. So what I do here, I just attach this hair together with my natural hair and all the way from the beginning i start to braid going down so before my eh, my before my hair end i'll make sure i borrow some hair from both sides right and left so here i just do regular braids till over half of my natural hair so guys here we go as you can see the amount of my natural hair is really small so i'll go ahead and borrow some hair just like this way every time when you borrow hair i borrow very small piece you don't need to borrow bigger section at once because your breasts will show like um a curve where you add hair so here i make sure i borrow both sides and then i braid till i pass my natural hair a little bit and then i take a very tiny piece and secure the section because you don't want your hair to unravel before time so you have to make sure you secure your hair well so guys if you didn't see like what i did here let me show you one more time and then if this method does not work for you i'll be showing you another method that is easier than this one as I used to say, we always do something simple but clear. So one more time, take your hair, hold your hair like this way. Make sure you get two strand while the third strand will be your natural hair. And then keep braid till the end end of your natural hair but before the end of your natural hair make sure you borrow some hair from right and left side so after i create the base like this way then i turn my hands and then i borrow some hair just like this way and i put in the middle section because the middle section is the section that it has my natural hair and then I keep bread, just normal bread. And then after I bread like three steps, again, I borrow some hair from either side. 
like this way and then after here I'll keep braiding till the length I want so after I borrow hair twice each each side once I'll make sure I'll get three even strands so I will not I don't need to borrow hair more so after I borrow twice I'll keep braiding till the end so after I feel like the length is enough it's long enough here you may decide if you want longer or short and if you have if your natural hair is longer you may decide to go the way you want you may either decide to braid longer you may either decide to braid up to the end of this hair it's all up to you so after that take a tiny piece and make sure you secure your hair twice and guys if this method is is not work for you as i said earlier you have some trouble on borrowing hair let's go to this another easy method so this method makes sure you divide your hair into two one side make sure it's smaller than other and then that small side fold into two and then use that small side just like this way so i'll use this small side i fold to wrap on my hair and at this point i will only wrap twice then i will divide this braiding hair into two just like this way because you already divide when you started and then i would divide my natural hair as well into two and then the first strand to braid is the one you use to wrap because you don't want your hair to unravel and then keep braiding and if you use this method you don't need to borrow any hair from any side because you already start with three strands from the beginning so here you will keep braiding up to the end because all three strands are even and then you have to secure your section in the end So let's finish this one. As you can see in the middle here, I use this three strand or wrapping method. So again, wrap your natural hair two times. If it's hard for you, wrap three times. Maximum, don't wrap over there because you'll find like the beginning of your braids will be too bigger and you don't want that. So just make sure you wrap twice and then divide your hair into two and then separate the braids into two as well then start to braid all the way down with your three strands simple and easy like this way So after I finish to braid, you can style this hair in so many ways. And this is how this hair looks like. Let me go ahead and put this hair in ponytail. So when I hold this hair, I make sure I follow the lines. I don't hold this hair randomly because you don't want like the hair look rough follow the line section and make sure you hold them in order so that you can let your hair looks good take your time to hold because yeah you need to hold all of them and you need to hold them well you may either decide to secure them with wool or threading but for me i'll be using this hair tag 
I got them from my local store supplier. This one, it's so easy. This one makes everything so easy. Only wrap around and then I skew over there. Yeah, just like this way. So let me take scissor and trim off all the hanging hair and make sure all the hair they looks alike. When you are trimming, don't like. Don't trim so roughly. Make sure you put your scissor inside and make sure like you're pulling up and down, up and down to make the hair look like natural hair in the end. And guys, this is the final look for today's video. This is how this hair looks like. You can see how this hair looks like and you may either decide to spray some hair if you feel like um, you want them to be more fully go ahead and spray some water and guys hopefully you get something on this video i will see you soon on my next video bye bye